Hello FPR managers, today we've got the buy hold sell for gaming 14. In today's video we look over two buy options, two hold options and two sell options to assist you guys with your transfer planning for the upcoming game week. If you guys want to get the extra edge this FPL season then click the top link in the description to get yourself 65% off fantasy football fix premium and also get yourselves our free strategy guide. So just before we get into the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to show support for the channel as we are trying to hit 7k subs by the start of game week 14 and also click that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads and with that being said let's get into the video looking towards the buy options Connor Gallagher features on the buy list once again as despite blanking game week 13 he still was fairly impressive and has some incredible upcoming fixtures it looks like Connor Gallagher and Diogo Jota look to be two of the best mid price midfielders in FPL at the moment so I do think he should be one on the buy list if you don't currently own him Connor Gallagher has recorded 69 FPL points so far this season which does position him amongst the top five scoring midfielders in FPL his 22 attempted assists are also very impressive and this has been accompanied with four goals with an XG of 3.9. So especially since they're facing Leeds away in game week 14 who have struggled to keep clean sheets this year, it could be a good time to jump on him as he has got a good extended fixture run where he faces United, Everton and Southampton after this. Speaking of Diogo Jota, he is another player that features on the buy list this week as he recorded a very impressive 14 points in game week 13. This does consequently make him the third highest scoring player so far this game week as he was able to record himself two goals and a bonus point against Southampton. The 7.7 .7 million pound midfielder looks to be an incredible mid-priced option at the moment as Liverpool have some very strong upcoming fixtures. Furthermore, Diogo Jota has snuck up into the one of the highest scoring midfielder slots with 68 FPL points as he has attempted 17 assists, recording 7 goals with a very high XG of 6.57. So with Everton, Wolves, Villa and Newcastle as his next 4 opponents, I definitely think it could be a great time to jump on him across the Christmas period. Now looking towards the hold options, Cristiano Ronaldo features on the hold list once again. As despite seeing a lot of transfers out in game week 13, he has some incredible fixtures coming up. The United forward only played 26 minutes in his game week 13 match against Chelsea as he did come off the bench. Ronaldo has been in decent form recently in the Premier League as in his last three starts he has got himself three attacking returns and has got 43 points so far. This has come about as he has got himself four goals with a 4.74 xG which is fairly decent but has attempted eight assists as well. So with Arsenal, Palace, Norwich and Brentford as his next four opponents, I do think if you still currently own Ronaldo, now is not the right time to get rid of him. Son features on the hold list this week as he blanked in game week 13 but still has some good fixtures coming up as well as he's in a similar boat to Cristiano Ronaldo. Son is actually one of the most transferred out players coming into game week 14 but he has recorded 60 points so far. He did record 0 points in game week 13 as his match against Burnley did get postponed but Spurs have some incredible upcoming fixtures where they face Brentford at home and Norwich at home as their next two opponents. So there's no doubt if Son can partake in these games that he'll be getting played plenty of FPL points as he has already recorded 4 goals and 2 assists so far which does make him one of the highest scoring midfielders. He also has some good underlying numbers with a 3.54 xG and has attempted 18 assists so once again with Brentford, Norwich, Brighton and Leicester as his next 4 opponents it is not the time to sell him. Now onto the sell list, Michael Antonio features on the sell list once again as he did blank in game week 13. Consequently, he has become the 6th highest transferred up player this week, with just under 100,000 managers moving him on. This has meant now that Antonio has only got one return since game week 7, as he's blanked in his last 4 matches. He was immense at the start of the season, getting himself 6 goals early on, as he has already tallied up 65 FPL points. He of course has those good underlying stats with a 5.87 XG and 23 attempted assists, but with his poor recent form and difficult upcoming fixtures, it is a good chance to move him on before his price drops further. His ownership is still fairly high with a 44.2% ownership currently, but with Brighton, Chelsea, Burnley and Arsenal as his next 4 opponents, these aren't the easiest defences to breach, so I do think the Irons forward could struggle. 
And Ben Cho is the second sell option, which is a fairly obvious pick, as he gave himself a nasty injury coming to his knee, so he's not going to be back until the 15th of January. Obviously, he has been immense so far this year, as the 5.8 million pound defender has already recorded 54 FPL points, getting himself 3 goals with a 1.13 XG. All these stats are obviously quite impressive, and it is a bit of a shame to see him miss out over the Christmas period, as obviously a lot of people transferred him in for Chelsea's good fixtures. Speaking of, they do face Watford, West Ham, Leeds and Everton as the next four opponents, all four of which Chua will miss out on, so obviously with his long term injury he is a good transfer out. So that's all we've got for today for the buy hold sell of FPL Gaming 14, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did give it a like and subscribe to show your support for the channel as we are trying to hit 7k subs by the start of Gaming 14. Also, click that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads and leave a comment what you guys thought of this video and what are your transfer plans for the upcoming game week and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.